Charles the Crackalackin. So this may have been one of the most long awaited videos on my channel ever because I did a video from 16 year old me to 18 year old me and then 18 year old me replied to that video of, of 16 year old me. I think, we, I think we're keeping track here. And if you want to see the video there will be a link at the end of the video or there will be a link in the description if you want to check it out now before you watch this one. And then 18 year old me did a video to 21 year old me which is the video that I'm going to be replying to now. I tried to avoid looking at this because I didn't want to like remind myself what I'd said in the video. I just kind of wanted to be very sporadic. Anyway, I'm just gonna dwell <laughs> into this and yeah. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Okay, let's go. 18 year old me, don't let me down. Hey guys! How's it crack lacking? Yeah. Whoa, okay, just for uh, just going from the heads up, my voice is so high. Did I hit puberty in the voice range? And also, I think my theme tune's coming up, so we're just gonna carry on and watch this. You are watching the musical perfect. Everything's on with musical perfect. Hey, you everything, but I hope you enjoy the show. And videos. That was beautiful. <laughs> I'm really sorry I got rid of that, by the way. I feel like I'm just aging and I didn't want to do that anymore. I know some of you miss it. So a couple of weeks ago, I made a video responding to the questions given to me by my 16 year old self. Asking me questions about life and what I'd done over those two years. So I decided that I wanted to make a video from my 18 year old self to my 21 year old self. As these are probably going to be the years that I do a lot of things in my life, especially as I'm leaving college in the next few months. I oh gosh, but my gap has closed up a lot in both of those videos. Crazy, anyway. I hope you've got full-time work and hopefully in presenting because at the moment you have an agency and you like talking a lot to the camera and I feel like this is something that you're gonna improve on. You know, presenting is something you enjoy and it's something that I would really like to do full-time. So work on that. <laughs> I need to work on it, I'm the one that's gotta do this. <laughs> that's actually really exciting because I have absolutely fulfilled that goal of mine. Some of you might know this already, some of you you might not. I actually present two shows on a channel called Four Music in the UK, which is owned by Channel 4. It's a music channel. I present a show called the UK Music Video Chart and a show called Upfront. I've been doing that since September 2015, so I've been there for a year and four months now, which is insane. On top of that, I've also done a lot of interviews. I interviewed Ed Sheeran, Ellie Golding, the Kaiser Chiefs, Little Mix, the list absolutely goes on. And that is so exciting that like, I set that goal and I'd never done any presenting before and then like, I've come far in the last three years. I hope you've moved out and hopefully to London. That is if you got a good job. You know, as long as you're, you know, in the area or the surrounding area of London, you know, that's where all the work is gonna be. Hopefully you've done that because moving out by the time you're 21 would be really great. <laughs> okay, so technically I moved out before I was 21. I actually moved out for a solid eight months. I ended up moving in with my dad after that. Um, but do you know what? I'm really, really comfortable where I am and I still go to London like three, four times a week. I'm in the surrounding areas of London and I'm very happy where I live. I love my house, I love my home. Hopefully in the next two years, I will move back to London. So fingers crossed. I hope you've grown your hair even longer. At the moment, it's probably like here. If you can grow like that much of your hair, your hair will look so epic. Grow this much of your hair. This much. Grow all the hair. So on the hair front, it has definitely grown. Gone to like here, um, but I think I actually naturally have a hair length and then it stops. Another problem is, is that I dyed my hair silver recently. I had to bleach it twice. And unfortunately, I've had a bit of breakage, as you can see around the back, which is really annoying. I didn't cut it, I didn't cut it shorter. I've let it grow. And yeah, I think this is about its peak. But I'll take it, you know? Uh, I'm quite happy with it. I don't wear extensions anymore, so that's the main thing. I hope you've hit 250k subscribers. At the moment, you're on like 170,000 which is a shitload of subscribers. That's only like 80,000 more. I think you can do that in three years. <laughs> so yeah, I hit 250,000 subscribers. I actually hit 300,000 subscribers. It's not really moving anymore. Yeah, just, just kind of slowed down a bit, the YouTube subscriber thing. But you know, just keep swimming and all that. I'm pretty happy with that. I hit my goal. All good. I hope you've done more acting. At the moment, you're in performing arts and you've been doing acting and dancing and singing for the last two years at college. You're recently in a children's theater production of Sparkle Shark and you're playing Princess Polly and she is um 
annoying. <laughs> you know, it's just a little, a little bit like me, isn't it? <laughs> you have plenty of friends that do acting stuff, you know, so if they ever need a girl of your age, then you should be like, bitch, I'll, I'll do you some acting. So yeah, I ended up doing more acting. I did one acting role, which was the only opportunity that I actually got to do any acting. I was in an alien apocalypse movie with my friend Cherry called The Darkest Dawn. Very much an amateur independent film, so take with it what you will. I would like to do more acting. I wish I could do more theater again, but I don't know if I actually have time. I, 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 need, I need to stop taking on so many projects. I hope that you're better at playing guitar and hopefully you've learned to play another instrument or started learning. I really want to learn how to play piano so that would be wicked so yeah guitar I actually didn't really improve that much in guitar I would say I'm a little bit better but I actually stopped playing it so much because I started to concentrate on playing keyboard and I actually got a lot better at playing chords etc and yeah I'm a bit more confident I'm still very very amateur but I started learning the keyboard I'm glad I did that because it makes it so much easier to write also I hope you are in a place where you've been writing songs and that is going well I feel like you might neglect music a little bit over the next next few years and that is something that I really don't want you to do because it is your passion and you love it. Again I am super super happy about that because I did actually go ahead and do that. Since then I released two EPs that you can find on iTunes, Spotify, all of that. And not only that, I guess this is as good a time as ever to unofficially announce an EP, but there should be a larger form of EP coming out just before summer. Hopefully. I'm in the studio, I'd like to add. I am actually recording stuff. It's just taking a little bit of time, but it's the best music I think I've ever written. I hope that you've done some more traveling and that you've gone on some holidays to places you've never been before because Turkey, LA and Florida. You went to Morocco once. I'm pretty sure you went to Spain as a baby, but that's about it because I want you to see lots of the world. I can't even like recollect where I've been since there because I think I've been to so many different places since then. I've been to Italy, I've been to France, I've been to New York. I've been to Thailand, I've been to Uganda in Africa. Oh my god, I've been to so many different places. Literally, I've done so much traveling. What's really exciting is that I think there's gonna be a lot more traveling to come. I've got some exciting plans for next year on places that I want to visit that I haven't visited. You're probably thinking, wow, I was such a loser. Why did anyone ever hang out with me? Well, people do. And hopefully you're still hanging out with some of those people that think you're weird. I don't think that was even a question to be answered, but I guess, yeah, I am. So I'm definitely still hanging out with those people that think I am weird. And not only that, since making this video, I think I have got some of the strongest friends I could have ever hoped for. It's really, really nice to know that like, they're kind of like locked in stone now. I feel like we're at this age where hopefully they won't drift. They'll they'll stay in a little, in a little jar of love. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, what an exciting video. All good. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and click that little notification bell if you want to see more videos from me. Also, please like this video if you liked it. And also at the end of this video, there will be a link from my 18 year old self replying to my 16 year old self. That was a really fun video. I think, you know, I changed so much in those two years. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I will be doing a video to my 23 year old self soon. So I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye.